Hello everyone. So as some of you might know, alongside YouTube, I now do live streaming. I'm a streamer over on Twitch. I do it like three times a week. It's really fun. I would definitely recommend coming over and joining the Twitch fam. It's honestly, it's honestly great. Um, and it means if I ever do something like this again, you guys can obviously get involved. So yeah, cheeky little plug at the start of the video. I'm going to leave my Twitch link down below. Go and give me a follow if you want to. Um, but I basically went live on Twitch last night and I got everyone watching to do a bunch of polls to pick my makeup, my hair and my outfit for today. So you guys basically chose my look for today. It was really fun. I mean, most of it was really fun. There was a little bit of drama at one point. I'll explain when I get to that bit. But for the most part, it was very fun. And I'm basically going to be getting ready now and doing the look that you guys created. I'm also going to insert the clips from the live stream into this video so you guys can actually see the polls taking place. So I thought I would start off by inserting a little clip from the very start of my stream when everyone was saying hello to YouTube. Um, and there's also basically at the start of streams there's these things called hype trains sometimes and it's basically when people gift subscriptions to people they cheer bits this will make no sense to some of you but i just wanted to insert a clip from it because it's just so wholesome and so cute um, and everyone is so generous and lovely so i'm gonna insert a little clip now of the start of the stream hello <laughs> What is going on? Lexi, thank you for your two gifted subs. Laura. <laughs> Laura with the one, two, three, four, five gifted subs. Thank you so much. Uh, Nicole with the 200 bits. If I add all your bits together now, you have done too many bits. <laughs> Russell. <laughs> Russell with the freaking five gifted subs. Thank you so much much that is so kind of you honestly guys what is going on what is going on we're on a freaking level five amy with the 300 bits oh my god i knew it'd be you <laughs> i knew it'd be you jam with the one two three four five the five gifted subs again you honestly don't have to i feel bad i feel like i need to give you something <laughs> you are so freaking kind. Kristen with the 300 bits. Uh, M M Zula, thank you for your 100 bits. See, this is why Twitch is so great. The community here is lovely and we love you. It is so lovely here. We ready for the hellos? Way! Oh my goodness, that is a lot of highs. That is a lot of highs. Chat is going crazy. It's going crazy. <laughs> Oh, and when you guys watch the video back, you can see if you can see your message. Although you might struggle because it's going very fast, but you might be able to see your message. <laughs> oh, look at all the hellos. Isn't it just the cutest thing? I mean, to some of you that probably made absolutely no sense. You're probably like, what are bits? What are gifted subs? But it's basically just people being very generous and very lovely. So yeah, I just wanted to insert that, but I'm now gonna cut to the very first poll that we did, and that was to choose my nail polish. So I feel like the first thing we need to do are my nails. By the way, my nails have finally healed. Like, I don't know if you guys remember, but my nails, I had some serious issues with them, like back in November, and it's only in the past couple of weeks that they finally look back to normal. I thought I would go for some like spring pastel-y colors. So they're all by Nails Ink. Yeah, they're all Nails Ink. They're not gel polishes. I'm, I don't think I'm ever gonna go near a gel polish again after what happened to my nails, but these are just like standard polishes. Option number one, we have like a pastel-y pinky color, very cute. Option number two, we have a pastel-y blue color, again, very cute. And then option number three, we have this pastel-y lilac color, which I think looks so cute. Oh, lilac is in the lead. I like that. The lilac one is cute. Pink is definitely at the bottom. <gasps> the lilac is storming ahead with a 53%. Blue is not too far behind, but I think lilac is going to take it. It's gonna take it, it's gonna take it. Okay, so the winner was the lilac nail polish. I'm actually really happy. I think this is probably my favorite of the three. I think it's such a pretty color. Okay, so I've just gone away and painted my nails with the lilac one, because obviously that was the one that won. I think they look so cute. This is such a cute color. So yeah, my nails are done and I'm now gonna move on to my makeup. So now we're gonna move on to my makeup and the first thing I need to do is my foundation. So I've got three different products. With a lot of these, I've kind of gone for like a cheaper product, a sort of middle product, and then a kind of expensive product. Number one, the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate Foundation. Number two, we've got the Il Maquillage, Il Maquillage, don't know how you say it, that foundation. And number three, we've got the Charlotte Tilbury 
uh, airbrush flawless foundation. Go, go, go! Who's gonna win? I actually have no idea who's gonna win. Are you guys gonna go fancy? Are you gonna go cheaper? Do we have a bougie bunch of people watching? <laughs> Oh, it looks like we do. Charlotte Tilb, she is steaming ahead. <laughs> steaming ahead. Storming ahead with a 75%. Wow, the other two are getting bunned off. Just living my bougie dreams through you. <laughs> there we go, Charlotte was the winner. And yeah, I'm quite happy because this is a good foundation. Oh, I have a lighting change. I have a lighting change to pink. Wait, who picked it? Jess, Jess picked it. When everything is on, we light a candle We're breathing really slow with artists We're waiting for the dawn with empty bottles you turn around... So the next thing I need to do, I'm sure you guys have guessed, is my concealer. I have three options again. Number one is good old classic collection, last in perfection, you know it. Number two, we've got the Revolution Conceal and Hydrate. There we go. And then number three, we've got the Benefit Boing concealer pick a concealer pick a concealer wait who's winning revolution looks like revolution is gonna win this one okay 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 this one's close yeah no one wants the old scabby collection one do they it doesn't look like the most appealing because it's all like rubbed off and it's quite old <laughs> i feel ya i feel ya <laughs> um so the winner the winner was revolution way so we have the revolution conceal and define good choice that is a good concealer Next thing I need to do is my powder. So you have three options. They're all three options. I think you got that by now. It's always three options. But number one, you can do a standard pressed powder. Number two, you can do a bit of loose powder if you want to be a savage. And then option number three, actually, this is the worst one. Do you know what I'm going to bring back? If anyone saw my last video, you'll know how much I hate this. But apparently this works better as a powder and not a foundation. So yeah, we're going to have pressed powder, loose powder or foundation powder. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. In the lead, we have loose powder. We have loose powder with a 54%, but slowly creeping up behind, we have the foundation powder and then we've got the pressed powder right at the back. No one wants that. We have our winner. Surprise, surprise. It is the loose powder. Oh, it's fancy one though. A little bit of Elizabeth Arden. So now I need to do my bronzer. Option number one, we've got Revolution. This is the Revolution Bronzer Reloaded. It's like a baked bronzer thing. Option number two, we've got the, I can't say this one very well, Fis Physicians Formula, there we go. Uh, butter bronzer, smells like cocoa nuts. <laughs> Why well, I'd have to emphasize the nuts. It smells like coconuts. Um, and then option number three, we've got the classic Benefit Hula bronzer. Go, go, go. Make your choices. Who's gonna win? Who's gonna win? Wow. Okay. Well, I think we have our winner already. <laughs> Precision's formula storming ahead. You guys like your coconuts. And it'll be nice to actually test it on like a nice base. Because in my last video where I tested it, my base was such a mess that this looked bad. But I think this might actually be pretty good. You guys love a coconut. Coconut. <laughs> there we go, guys. The winner is Precision's Formula. So the next thing I need to do is my blush. So we have three different options. Again, oh, it's always Revolution. I've just got a lot of Revolution makeup. So we've got the Revolution blush. This is actually the one that I always use. This is on my face right now. Um, it's their Blusher Reloaded in the shade Ballerina. Then the second one, oh, it's still in its box. This is the Sailor Moon ColourPop blush. I think it's in the shade From the Moon. The packaging, literally, wait, I can't do it. Can you guys see? It's one of those pictures that moves and then this is what it looks like. It's very pretty. Um, and then the third one, we've got a bougie. It's even in a pouch. It's in a velvet pouch. This is the Dior. I only got this for a video where I tested like expensive products. This is a, look at it, a Dior Rouge blush in the shade Rose Baser, I think. And this is what it looks like. They're all quite similar because all of my blushes are quite pink because that's what I like. They're pretty close. Okay, no, Colourpop is storming ahead. I mean, yeah, 
It's Sailor Moon. It's got a cat on it. It's gonna end in three. Oh, it's ended. <laughs> so Colourpop was the winner. <gasps> We did! We hit our sub goal as well! Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Wait, I want to thank you when this thing biffs off. We have gone over the sub goal. Thank you guys so much. Let's give it a quick update. The new sub goal is 450. Thank you guys so much. We did it. We did it. Obviously, got to do a bit of highlighter. So for the cheapest one, this is really cheap. This is a Primark highlighter. I thought the packaging was quite cute. It's the PS No Angel highlighter. It looks like this. It's kind of like a pinky toned one. And I've also got an Ofra highlighter. This is um, Ofra's collab with Steph Toms. It's the Milk and Cookies highlighter. Um, it smells like cookies. Like it literally smells like cookie dough. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's more of like, it's more of like a warmer toned highlighter. But you've got like a darker shade there and a lighter shade there. And then for the third one, I've got this. Look at it. This is a Too Faced highlighter. I think it's the Diamond Fire highlighter. And this is what it looks like. It's quite a white highlighter. Almost got like a sort of multicolored iridescent look to it. I don't know. Go, 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 go. I think it will be between the second two. I think you might pick the O for one because I mean it does smell delicious. I'm gonna have another sniff whilst I'm waiting. <sighs> Beautiful. We have a lighting change to blue from Jess. Okay, I can do that for you. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. Yay, it was the winner. It'll be my first time using it on camera. So the next thing I need to do is my eyebrows. So I've got three benefit products here and you guys are gonna pick if I'm gonna do pencil eyebrows, pen eyebrows, or we have a pomade, pomade eyebrows. Now I think I've had this for potentially a couple of years, three, maybe longer. I've had this for quite a long time, but it's whether you want me to go for, you know, something standard that I'd normally go for or try something that I used to use back in the day and haven't done for many years. It's up to you. If you're feeling kind or savage, we will find out. Off you go. go. You are all, sa well not all of you, but 118 of, 122 of you are savage. 129 of you are savage. I need to stop doing that. That's just gonna keep going up. I can make it work. I can't make it work, can I? Just do it lightly. Yeah, I'll go in with like a really light hand. Okay, so pomade was the winner. You savage lot, you savage people. When did I last use a brow pomade? I feel like it was probably years ago. And this is old, like this is quite dried out. So I'm gonna have to really try and like get in there with it. Look at this. I I'm nervous. I feel like these are gonna look so bad, but I'm gonna try my best. Also, hello, I haven't spoken to you for ages on this bit. I've been doing it all in silence, but hello, how are you doing? Hope you enjoyed the video. I'm not sure about them. I found that so tricky. Like pomade just makes your brows go so blocky. I had to use concealer through the front to try and make them look less blocky. I don't know. They're definitely not my best, but I tried my best. <laughs> I'm going to potentially do eyeliner. You guys are going to pick if I'm going to do it. I've got this product here. It is the Lottie London stamp liner. So it's basically got like a normal pen, but it's also got a moon stamp on it. So I want you guys to pick between normal winged eyeliner or winged liner with a moon stamp or none. You can pick no eyeliner if you want. That's exactly what I thought. Everyone loves a little moon. I think it will look cute, won't it? It will look so cute. I can do like a wing. We'll try my best to do a wing. We know I'm not the best, but I'll try my best. And then um, maybe just like a little moon down here. There we go then. Wing and moon was the winner. So I will try my best to make that look good. Do you know what? I really wanna try and make this look good. So I'm gonna do the wings off camera, but I'll be back in a sec and we can do the moon stamps on camera. I'm gonna try so hard with this, like the hardest I have ever tried. Wish me luck. I think that might be the longest I've ever spent on like a part of my makeup. I've literally just spent a solid hour on these, I think, and I'm still not happy with them. 
eyeliner for hooded eyes is so tricky. Even when I do like the hooded eye techniques, it still doesn't always work out. I am also going to add on the little moon stamps. So I'm now going to do mascara. We have three options again. I think again, we've got like a cheaper one, a middle one and a more expensive one. So the cheaper one is the misguided Oh High Lash Length and Definition Fiber Mascara. So this has like little fibers in it. It's like really lengthening because it's literally got fibers in it. Um, the second one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational sky high mascara this one has very nice packaging it's a very good mascara i really like it and then the third one i've never tried this it's the nars climax extreme mascara so could go for that one it's like um looks like this it's, it's chonky go 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 i literally have no idea which one's gonna win i feel like anyone could potentially win this this one's winning this one has a chunky wand are you savaging me again <laughs> Are you savaging me? You're all bougie. You guys are bougie. You are bougie. There we go. The Nars one is the winner. I am going to be using this big old chunky Climax mascara. So you have the option of no freckles or you can do freckles with like a freckle pen or you could do star freckles because i have these tiny little silver stars they're really tiny oh okay it's not as like i thought it would be a firm star freckle one i guess it depends if you want the makeup look to look quite like ordinary or if you want it to be a bit more i guess a bit more extra because you know i'm not going to stick these on my face every day am i so it's up to you guys but it's looking like the stars are probably going to win you're going to be a little solar system yeah in a minute i'll whack out a freaking planet or something <laughs> we'll put a planet here what else a rocket up here the winner was the star freckles so yeah i'm gonna stick a bunch of these i guess i'll just dot a few of them around here i won't go too crazy but i think it will look cute So now I'm going to do my lipstick. These are all liquid lipsticks and they're all from Revolution. These two are XX Revolution. The red one is in the shade... Oh, actually, I don't know. Oh, it's in the shade Laid. We've got a nude one in the shade Ticket. And then this one is from Roxy's collab with Revolution and it's in the shade Tokyo. So it's up to you guys. You can do nude, pink or red. Oh, it looks like nude is going to win. A standard nude lip. I like that. There we go. The nude one won. This is the winner. It's a nice color as well. Like it looks like a really nice nude. Smack it away. Three, two, one. <gasps> that one looked good, yeah? That was like pretty bang on. <laughs> Okay, so the final thing for my makeup that I want you guys to pick is eyelashes. I'm gonna try and do eyelashes. These are natural, apparently. We've also got dramatic. And then we've also got, these ones are weird. These are called flutter. I don't know how well you guys can see. They're kind of like crisscrossy. Flutter is winning. To be fair, as we're going for kind of like an extra look, it makes sense because these are quite extra. They're like nothing I've ever seen before. I'll obviously show you guys better in the video, but they're just sort of like crisscrossing around each other. They're really strange. There we go. Flutter is the winner. So I'm going to be doing some crazy weird eyelashes. I do not know what they're going to look like. Okay, as you can see, I've stuck the eyelashes on already. I did them off camera to try and give myself the best possible chance to stick them on properly. I think I have stuck them on okay, but they look a bit weird, don't they? They are some strange eyelashes. They're literally like crisscrossing around each other. So they're very different. This is my finished makeup look we've still got hair and outfit but this is my makeup done i think overall it turned out quite well it's quite different we've got the stars we've got the moons the weird eyelashes it's quite different but i think it all kind of goes together nicely and it looks quite cute so yeah i think the makeup went quite well i'm now going to move on to my hair so i'm now going to get you guys to pick my hair 
So the first thing I want you guys to pick, this sounds weird. I want you to pick my parting. <laughs> what a weird thing to pick. But basically you can either pick a middle parting, which is what I always have, a side parting, so more of like a flip or a fringe. I found my clip on fringe. I think I know what you're going to pick. I think you're going to pick fringe, aren't you? Because you're going to want to see it as well. Is it blocky? It's not like a blocky fringe. It's very like wispy. The fringe is the winner. I'm excited then. So the other thing that I need you guys to pick for my hair is how I'm actually going to style it. So pretty simple. You guys can pick straight, wavy or curly. I actually don't know what's going to win here. I'm not too sure, but there we go. The poll is up. This might be our closest one so far. Oh my goodness. Okay. We have curly in the lead. Come on, come on, come on who's gonna win but we have wavy quite close behind maybe it's gonna catch up who knows straight pretty far behind i don't think they stand a chance i'm sorry straight so curly is the winner so i'll have my hair like this and then i'll have my little fringe as well i'd say your hair now is wavy not curly me too but i was just kind of going by like this is with a curler wavy is more like crimped i'll try and make it like really curly like really like brrr. and i also have a lighting change from amy to yellow oh some yellow vibes there we go. Okay, so as you guys saw, the fringe was the winner. So I put on my little clip on fringe. It's not perfect because this fringe was from a couple of years ago when I had darker hair. So it's not the exact same color, but I feel like it kind of works. Ali's here now, by the way. Alex really likes me with the fringe, don't you? I think it looks quite nice. He likes me with a fringe. I don't know. I'm always thinking like, should I get a fringe done properly? Like by a professional this time? What do you guys think? Let me know down below. I quite like that it hides my forehead because I do have a bit of a large one. But at the same time, I don't know if it suits me. I'm not sure. Um, and then I've also curled my hair. You wouldn't think it, would you? My hair just doesn't take curls very well. Like it just goes wavy. But I have used my curlers. So this is my idea of curly hair. Um, so yeah, this is my hair done. And I'm now gonna move on to my outfit. So now it's time to pick my outfit. So I'm gonna start off with my bottoms, like my bottom half. So you guys can pick between these. We've got some trousers. These are just some black ribbed trousers. They look like this, but they're flared. They're like flared trousers. You can also have these. These are a pair of jeans. Not very exciting. They're a pair of jeans, but they're kind of like mum jeans with a cinched in bottom bits. They're kind of like jogger jeans or a cute little check skirt. Take your pick. Who's gonna win? I feel like this one might be quite close as well. Like I have a feeling. Skirt is winning. Skirt is winning, 64%. There we go then, the skirt is the winner. It's very cute, it's a really cute little skirt. So for tops, I've got three options. This is the first one. It's a little gray cropped cardigan. It's in a kind of like waffle material. It's really soft. Number two. I've got a little pink bralette. This is pretty basic actually. It's just little pink, a little pink bralette. It's in like a scuba material. And then option number three, cause I was trying to make them all quite different. I've just got this kind of netted uh, mesh t-shirt and obviously I'll have to put like a little bralette underneath, like a black bralette. Ooh, it is close. Ooh, not for the bralette though. Okay, cardigan is going ahead. Oh, t-shirt is quite close though. Bralette got left behind. Chuck that, nobody wanted to see you. <laughs> no one wants, if that now wins now, I've got to go and pick it up. What if it's a draw? Imagine if you draw one, I have to wear them both. <laughs> Who's gonna win? <gasps> the t-shirt won. Okay, so because you guys picked the skirt, I thought I'd give you the option to maybe give me some tights. You don't have to. So the options are no tights or we can have some fishnet tights that have small holes or we can have some fishnet tights that have big holes. <laughs> Small holes, big holes or none. You guys take your pick. Big holes, big holes. Yes, we love big holes. Big holes is the winner. So I will put on some big hole fishnet tights. I think I'm gonna look cool guys. To go with my outfit, I wanted you guys to pick a necklace. So you can either have a little choker. It's like a little um kind of velvet choker with a thing dangling off of it. You can have a necklace like this. This is the one that I wear the most. It's got a moon on it. It's just like a gold necklace with a moon or something a little bit different. Got a little silver chain with a padlock. It is a close one. Oh my God, they're all in the 30%. This is our closest one yet. Oh yeah, I think Choker is taking the lead. They are gonna win. There we go. The Choker is the winner. So I will add on, oh, drop something. I will add my little Choker onto the look. I think that'll be cute. Right, it's the final one. We're gonna pick my shoes. Option number one, we have some trainers. These are just some kind of chunky trainers. They are from Koi Footwear, I think. And they've just got like little flames down them. They they're pretty cool. I like these. Very nice. We also have option number two, the classic Doc Martin boots. These are from 
Doc Martin, funnily enough. Um, again, they're quite chunky, just some black boots. Everything's quite chunky. It's about to get a whole lot chunkier. <laughs> Option number three, some of you might recognize these if you've watched my videos for a long time because they were in a like I wore extra clothing video that I did back in like maybe like 2018, 2019. We have these. <laughs> You literally can't get much more chunkier than this. They've got spikes on them as well. They look like they could injure me. Oh my goodness, it's closer than I thought. Like I thought there's no way these won't win. As they're close, maybe I could do both. I've been talking about these stinky shoes the whole time. The outfit will look cool with both shoes. Yeah, you've got like a wearable option, but you've also got like a really extra option. Right, I've got the outfit on. I will give you guys like a whole full finished look in a minute, but I just wanted to explain the, the drama that happened. It wasn't really drama, was it, Ali? Basically, as you guys probably just saw, it was between the Doc Martin boots and the spiky shoes that were like quite close to winning. Um, and I made a comment that I was like, oh, I thought the spikies were gonna win. Now what am I gonna put in my thumbnail? Um, but the Doc Martens won by two points. So then everyone was like, re-vote, re-vote, re-vote. Um, and we ended up doing a re-vote and then some people got really angry. Well, I don't know if they actually got angry or if I was just reading it wrong. So we're gonna scrap the bit where the re-vote happened and we're just gonna stick with the Doc Martens won. But because it was so close, I am also gonna try the outfit on with the spikies as well. Um, Cause a lot of people wanted them and then I can put them in my thumbnail. Everyone wins, right? <laughs> okay, so this is the finished look. This is everything all together we got the makeup we got the hair we got the outfit we got the nails i think it looks really cool like i think the whole lot together just looks so cool in fact i feel like i've never felt so cool i was saying to alex i was like with this look i feel like i look like i should be called luna and you guys might know luna is one of my favorite names i think it's so cute i look like a luna it's probably because of the moon and the stars but i just i don't know i just feel so cute i feel like this is very me like this is the sort of style that i would love to go for if i could be bothered but i'm just so lazy i go for much more like basic stuff i really like it i think it looks really cool i've got my doc martin boots which i think was a good choice it was a good choice this goes with the outfit really well yeah i, I really love the skirt as well i think the little tights add a really nice touch top goes really nice with the whole thing yeah i love the makeup i think the makeup is really cool i think the only thing is i'd probably maybe go without the fringe i'm still a bit undecided about the fringe but yeah i don't really know what else to say this is some, oh no I, I need to put my spikies on right i'm gonna try not to break my ankle wish me luck <laughs> Okay, so the spiky shoes are on. I, yeah, they're just a little bit ridiculous, but at the same time, I think they are really cool. Like they look very cool. I think they kind of still go with the whole vibe, but they're obviously just a little bit less wearable, a little bit more extra, but I don't hate them. I just would never wear them. They're not too tricky to walk around in, but it's more the spikes. Like you run past them. They are genuinely like sharp spikes. So um, she says that whilst like running her hand across but like if you accidentally jab into it it could actually injure you so they're not the most wearable but i think i think they're really cool they're a bit fun and different sharp they're so spiky i keep forgetting i keep just grabbing the spikes oh that's better. I'm not leaving yet, but I'm gonna leave YouTube here, I guess. So if you all wanna say bye to YouTube, say bye now. I can see your byes. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining. Thank you for um, taking part in the polls. I really enjoyed myself. Um, and yeah, it should be a good video. That is it for this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I wanna give an extra big thank you to everyone who took part. Thank you very much. And like I said, if you wanna join in with some of these things in the future, I'm sure I'll do more stuff like this then head on over to my twitch i'll leave it linked below somewhere that's it really thanks for watching give this video a big thumbs up as well if you enjoyed it and i will see you very soon goodbye